That's why they call you GAMERS, dick fucks! What's up guys, it's Fick Molly here, and today I'm gonna do a little triple commentary. I think this might be my first one. Uh, probably my last, because it's gonna be shit. Uh, today I have Loyal Patriot, he's returning. Uh, Patriot, say hello. What's up? <laughs> Alright. And I also have Esco Blades. Yo, what's going on? So much cooler than you, Patriot. We're going gangster today. <laughs> We're going gangster. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, we have nothing to talk about, really, do we? Nah, no. just three guys We're with key. <laughs> but, uh, knowing that you are an Infinity Ward, um, what is it, come? Community? Come? Com com <laughs> what? Com. <laughs> com. <laughs> community moderator. <laughs> com. Community moderator, okay. Uh, and last time I got Patriot to do an impression, so this time I think it's only fair if I ask you to do an impression of Robert Bowling for me. Damn it. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're not going to have any death streaks in the game. That's just your normal voice. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't <laughs> no, do it. Come on, let's go. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I can't do it. Do you feel like doing another Duke impression, or? He's cracking. Uh, which one do I got to say this time? Uh, suck it down. Suck it down. Oh, that was awesome. Oh. I guess that's all right. It's not as good as Hail to the King, but... I should probably stop listening to them all day over and over again. That is weird. <laughs> King, baby. So we only have one thing to talk about, and uh, that is why a community of supposedly mostly males is full of the amount of whiny crybaby bitches that is YouTube and the commentators on YouTube. Uh, so, so more positivity is what you're saying. Uh, basically, this is Happy Fit Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the big commentators. They're so awesome. They don't pull the wool over our eyes at all. No, Fuck I want to be them. I want to be them. <laughs> but why is it so full of drama? Why? Why do they have to... I don't, I don't get it. I think if it's I, a combination of a few different things. Like, I think some of the bigger YouTubers create drama because it brings attention to their channels. Then I think a lot of the little tykes that watch YouTube uh, create drama with their jealousy, yeah. with their wanting to get fame in two hours. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of a lot of different stuff. It, uh, it all boils down to money at the end of the day. Because like you said, LP, it, you know, the, the guys who create drama... They know that they're going to get the hits. It, it might not even be a view that they agree on, um, or they agree with, rather. They just want to create some controversy, and people are going to go, oh, did you see what that person said? Go and watch the video. That's more views for them, and they're earning revenue on that shit, so that's more money for them. It's, just, it's no, Don't even get me started on it. That's why I make drama, for the money. <laughs> the money and the fame. For the Benjamins, Woman. baby. <laughs> Woman. It's Woman, I am on a commentary. Baby. Don't bother me. I'm wow. on a commentary. I'm talking to these men right here. Feed it. Wow. Wow. Patriot's <laughs> wife has just owned us in this commentary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if she would have been topless, Does I she want to join? Up, because, but... I mean, people might be bored of you on my channel, so, I mean... Oh, they're get they're wife... very bored of me. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. LP. <laughs> no, she scrammed. I told her to, I told her to get out of here. <laughs> she oh. knows what's up. She does. Oh, man. But yeah, See? no, the, the recent the recent shit with all that, you know, I, I, I did a commentary on my channel anyway, the recent shit with all that bullshit about leaked killstreak lists and all that jazz, it's like, ultimately, I don't give a fuck if the information was real, bogus, whatever. When you start crying like a little bitch on Twitter about it, and then changing your mind two minutes later because it was like, oh, you know, it's just, I can't decide. I don't have any balls to decide which side of the fence I'm going to sit on, so I'm just going to jump from either side. Yeah, you're, you're a bitch. That's well. Well, a lot of people online they react before they process. Yeah, yeah. And so they they see something, and we're so used to being screwed over the past three or four years that we just assume the worst. So we see an announcement, or we see something come out on a video game, and we immediately think it's bad. We yeah. freak out, and we cry about it, and then we think about it for a second, take it back because we might have gotten trash from some of our subs or our followers, and they're saying, well, all you do is complain, so now we do a 180, and we say, oh, okay, you know, maybe this is going to be a good thing. Now, when I say we, I mean not us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you say that for the last four years we've been screwed over, that's I don't believe that's the case. 
No. I think for the last four years we've been screwed over, not by the game companies, but by the people who play the game. Games, yeah. Because someone, well, and I'm not going to drop names so that people don't think I'm bitching about a certain commentator, uh, someone wrote on Twitter that it's sad that games developers keep being outthought by kids. And that's not the case. How can these developers, and I said this to Esco already, how do they expect the developers to know what a million or millions of people who are looking to exploit a game are going to do? I mean, they could have the public beta, but I don't think that's going to solve it. No. Yeah, it's it's not. I mean, anybody who's like even done any degree of testing will know that you can't pick up everything before the game comes out. And it's like they're people whose sole mission is to break a game. Uh, but not for the good of the people making that game. At least ultimately, you've got to look at it as a, I, I unfortunately spend more, more time than I should on the forums, looking at, you know, dealing with the community that at least go to the forums, and they always cry for one thing or the other, and then when the developers listen to them, it's suddenly like, oh, they should never have listened to the community. What the fuck do you want? Make your mind up. You either want fucking overpowered killstreaks or you don't. Don't then cry when you are listened to that they shouldn't have listened to you. Agreed. Well, I, I don't. I think perhaps, and I'm not going to generalize. I know that not everyone is going to be like this, but in a way, the card community is kind of how I feel about a lot of younger people today. In that they're lazy and they don't want to earn something, so they will find a way to exploit something to get what they want quickly and possibly underhandedly. Yeah. Uh. It's just, I think it boils down to laziness. Yeah, I mean, if you laziness. really cannot be bothered to, after you've got someone to spend $60 on a game, either you don't enjoy that game enough to want to get to, like, 15th Prestige, or you're just so lazy that you won't do it, and you just, you want everything given to you, which is sad. I've but, never uh, really understood that. It's it's the same. With, it's the same as just going back to the drama issue. It's the same with those people on YouTube who, you know, just thrive on drama. It's like, don't tell me that. Oh, I'm not going to play Call of Duty anymore because, like, you've just come to the realization after two years that the vast majority of the community who watch your videos are a bunch of kids who just don't know any better. Don't. After you've milked it for all it's worth, don't tell me that bullshit. At the same time, use your head. You're a grown man, and mm -hmm. you know you've seen something that's been 100% unconfirmed, and then you've gone and thrown the community into a frenzy about something that might not even be true. When COD XB is less than two fucking weeks away. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, so, that's yeah. br I mean, that's eight minutes of our commentary, and we were worried about having nothing. <laughs> um. Uh, so yeah, about that Battlefield 3... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is that... Uh, I'm not going to compare the games, but I've already discussed this with you again already. Is that when Modern Warfare is released, I don't think Battlefield 3 videos are going to be interesting to anyone. Just because they're slower. And no one wants to sit and watch a 30-minute video when they can just go and watch a 10-minute one of someone destroying public lobby <laughs> yeah they're slower people actually might have to play the objective in those games and yeah. it's and and you know that the vast majority of people who put videos out on you i mean there's going to be trick shots there's going to be quick scoping there's going to be someone dual wielding something there's going to be someone stomping <laughs> on a public lobby and getting 101 and then there's going to be that one guy who finds an exploit puts it on youtube and everybody's going to use it that's called yeah. that is the way it evolves has always been and probably will forever be. And that's why it's more interesting to people. And that's why the networks are going to show it and pump it out there. And then, yeah, it's going to be popular. Agreed. Well, I guess that's probably the end of it. The video is probably ended and now it's just a black screen. <laughs> so we'll try and put something witty up on the screen. Um, thank you to Esco for joining. Thank you. And Patriot, if you're still alive over there and not slapping your wife around <laughs> for interrupting you. No. I, I am alive. I she was bothering me, yes. So that's why <laughs> she had wow. she had she had a she had a boob out. What was I supposed to do? Oh god. Yep, that's the end of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>